I'm mixing up a great custom green color. Stay tuned to find out how. Hi Soapy friends, it's Steph from Micahs and More. I'm mixing up a custom blend to get a great emerald green color. I'm using blackish green mica and glitzy green neon in a 2 to 1 ratio with more mica than neon. Let's make soap! I'll use a small spoonula to make sure all of the particles are mixed well. I'm also using fruit green mica, which previously was the closest to a true green that I had, but it has a bit of a blue tint to it. The other color that I'm using is lemon chiffon. It's a nice light yellow. and I'm using white satin mica as the base. I add my lye water to the melted oils. The oils I use are lard, coconut, olive pomace, and cocoa butter. My lye water has sodium lactate, sugar, and tussa silk already added. I'll stick blend this until it reaches a light trace. And now it's time for the fragrance oil and some suspenseful music. Since it stirred in pretty well eventually, I decided to go ahead with the plan. I'll add my mica to the soap and get on with the making.
I'll pour the soap into this pitcher, alternating with white in between the colors. I'm trying the traveling tree ring pour. It's a design inspiration from acrylic pour painting techniques. Let's get this soap in the mold. This is another custom mold that I made from corrugated plastic. If you'd like to see the video on how I made another mold like this, I'll put the link in the description. Unfortunately, my soap was getting a bit thicker than I wanted for this, and so I just had to do the best I could. The original plan for this soap was to pour the soap into the mold and the design would be how it came out as it poured. Since that didn't turn out the way that I wanted, I decided to sculpt the top. And at first I wasn't thinking about the way that the bars would be cut. I was treating it like one big loaf. Well, what I'm going to do is cut it across the middle and then I'll have three bars on the top and three on the bottom, each three inches wide and two inches tall. So I decided to change the design to make it fit that better. And for whatever reason, I wasn't really happy with the designs that I was getting, so I'll make this a little faster so you don't have to sit through the long version of how many times I changed my mind on this top. It still needed something extra, so I added some Stellar White Mica in oil to the top. One last look before I put this one to bed. I'll put it in a box and under a blanket for about 24 hours. The next day it was ready to unmold. I was very careful because it was an awkward size, so if it looks like it's taking a little bit longer than normal to unmold, that's for a good reason. I was just being careful.
And here's the cut soap picks now that they're all cleaned up. I'm actually showing both sides of the soap for some of these because they were so different. I really like how the green turned out and I can't wait to use it again. I might even try it with a half and half ratio with the glitzy green neon and the blackish green. If you'd like to get the items used here to make your own soap, you can order online anytime at micasandmore.com. And if you join my Facebook group, Steph's Micas and More, I'd love to see what you make with my products. Thanks for watching.